<laughs> Newsflash, teen brain not ready for adulthood. Before we really understood brain development, it was believed that teenagers had a fully developed brain, at least from a biological, neurological standpoint. But now we understand that brain maturation process, while quite significant during the teenage years, doesn't complete itself until about the age 25. There's been some interesting advances in brain imaging technology. 20, 30 years ago, CAT scans were about the only kind of picture you could take of a brain, and that could give you a rough idea if there was damage to the brain. Technology has moved to magnetic resonance imaging. So now it's as if we have a large, clear window so we can peer inside and see how the brain functions. The maturation process is complete the quickest at regions and centers at the back of the brain, whereas regions at the front of the brain are the last to finish this maturation process. What's at the back of the brain? It's called the cerebellum. Now that's the region of the brain that's important for physical activity, coordination, interest in recreational activities. This is one reason why teenagers tend to prefer a lot of activity. Other regions of the brain are undergoing significant development as we think about teenage behavior. The emotion center, called the amygdala, parents are always frustrated by their teen who seems to overreact to situations. And that amygdala, which is highly sensitive during the teen years, is exerting its influence. Because the nucleus accumbens is still undergoing some significant development, it reveals a tendency in teenagers to prefer high excitement, low effort activities. So interest by teenagers in video games, for example, uh, would make a lot of sense. The front of the brain is where the prefrontal cortex resides. This is the region of the brain very important for reasoning as well as controlling uh, our behavior and controlling our urges and impulses. The cerebellum, the nucleus accumbens, and the amygdala, they tend to exert a greater influence on behavior than the reasoning part of the brain. It's a period of time where risk-taking is probably going to be at a higher base rate for that individual where they aren't going to be thinking of the safety factor or the longer term consequences as much as they might when they're in their mid-twenties or older. The teen years is an extremely vulnerable period when an individual starts using and experimenting with drugs. They're at a much higher base rate to develop a dependence or addiction. Drugs can hijack the brain and overpower the brain biochemically and make it very difficult for a person to resist impulses and to stop that habit. Well, unfortunately, you're going to feel that with urges to want to take more of the drug. The other important health issue to consider is the potential for early exposure to alcohol on learning. There are some interesting studies that suggest early exposure to alcohol can do significant damage to a part of the brain that's associated with memory. It's called the hippocampus. Damage to the hippocampus is going to impact learning. To some degree, you could consider the brain still on training wheels. It's not yet at its maximal maturity. It's not yet able to perform at optimal levels. Keep in mind that uh, while you have standards and expectations for your youngster, you've got to make sure that's well aligned and matching uh, their brain development. You have a fully mature prefrontal cortex sorting through all the noise and keeping a cool head is going to be, in the long run, uh, the best policy as you develop a strong relationship with your child.